Hello everyone again and welcome to my channel. In here we're going to be talking about photochemical electrocyclic reactions. On our two previous videos we talked about the thermal processes and how we need to be able to understand how you're able to go in a distributory process to a correlatory process in those reactions and taking into account the Woodward Hoffman's notations on how you go either in a superficial sense where you have two heads forming a sigma bond or an anterofacial process where the head of one node actually makes a bond with the tail of another node over there. So in here we're going to see that this is actually quite different from the thermal process and you can just say it's actually the opposite but in this video we'll look at the reasons why it's actually the opposite of what you get from the thermal process now let's look at this particular reagent over here we have a triene and this triene has terminal ends that are actually alkene here and there now if we go and subject this to heat we notice that under heat or uh, under thermal conditions, first of all, we notice that there are actually six electrons in here. Now, six electrons actually makes us to actually really believe that they are actually pi electrons and they actually obey the six pi that is occurring in the superficial. Why did I say superficial? Because in the world, world Hoffman's rule, we recognize that this obeys the four Q plus two where our Q equals to 1, which is an odd number, and also it is not a fraction. Now, if we go about this, a distributory process will make our bond in here to actually turn this way and that way for we to be able to generate our product, which is actually having our terminal methyl groups to be in a scene position so we have two scenes over here where they are actually positioned in here and the other one and that and in this particular case we have that being formed now if you're going in the other direction which is involved in the photochemical process of this particular reagent what we see is that under photo conditions we have something happening in the other way. Now we are going in a conrotatory process instead of a distributory process. And uh, by doing that, we have in this actually going in this direction, and this is actually going in the other direction. We'll talk about the reason why that is actually happening. But on this part here, in our photo process, we have a conrotatory process which is actually allowed in this particular state. On the other side, this over here is a disrotatory process that is actually allowed thermally, while this is allowed photochemically. That's for the fact that we have our pi 6 electrons, but something quite interesting is happening in the molecular orbitals in here and that what we're going to focus on on our next part in this video now let me draw our product and uh, what we notice in here is that we have that uh, on one side we do have this but on the other side of our terminal methyl we have the other case so we have a trans positioning and that is how you're able to differentiate going in a thermal process versus while going in the photochemical process. Now, the reason is why is this happening in here? Now, looking at the MOs, what we recognize is that in our reaction going from here to here, we need to focus on the HOMO of this whole six carbons in here. Now, the HOMO signifies here, let's label this as A and let's label this as B. Now, in the A step, we recognize that our HOMO will have these molecular orbitals in here. And now, these molecular orbitals, we're focusing on just 
the part where we have two nodes, one here and one there. By that way, this and that will be in phase, but this and that will be out of phase, or this and this will be in phase, this and that will be out of phase, this and this will be in phase. By that way, we can actually perform a current tutorial process where we go inward and inward and this will have a superficial orbital overlap with respect to that in our four way to get to our product where we see that the methyl groups are pointing in the same direction. This is our methyl group that is being generated over there. Now on the other side, since in here we look at our homo, our B actually focuses on the SOMO which is a singly occupied molecular orbital energy level where we actually go one node above this particular sequence over here. So what we have is this but since we are having three nodes we count this as one, two, three where this will be out of phase with respect to that, this will be in phase with respect to that, this will be out of phase with respect to that, oh sorry, out of phase with respect to that, in phase with respect to that, and out of phase with respect to that. By that way, we can actually perform our correlatory reaction or process where this we go in the same direction as that, and as a result of that, what we get is this actually overlapping with our head, overlapping with our tail over here, and what we get is our methyl group, one actually bending down and the other one coming up, where we get our stereochemistry in here that is different from the stereochemistry in there. Now, you need to note here that we can actually determine stereochemistry with respect to our correlatory versus disorientatory processes in respect to the photochemical versus the heat. That is how you'll be able to differentiate one particular reaction from the other type of reaction in here. Thanks for watching. Hit the like. Thanks for your support. And see you all on my next video. Be smart. Bye.